There is so much we still don't know about our oceans and how they relate to climate. But expeditions to the North Pacific by Oregon State University researchers continue to give us answers, the most recent related to volcanoes. We actually made a, a fairly surprising discovery that uh, volcanoes might be involved in the biological response of the ocean over long time scales. OSU professor Alan Mix says chemical analysis of sediment shows what was happening during major ice melt due to rising temperatures during the last ice age 18,000 years ago. The results indicate that as glaciers melted away on volcanoes, the volcanoes became more active. It kind of makes sense. You cover something up with ice, it's, it acts like a cork on the bottle, right? And then the ice goes away and they it's easier for them to erupt. Mix points to Mount St. Helens as a modern day example of the same effect. Different in this case, he says, because a landslide basically uncovered or uncorked the mountaintop and led to its eruption. Either way, major volcanic activity leads to lots of ash in the sky and eventually into the ocean. That's what they found with core samples in the Gulf of Alaska. They also found that ash made a good iron-rich meal for plankton. That, in turn, put lots of organic material on the ocean bottom. Too much of that creates oxygen-starved dead zones in the water. It is an era of discovery. This particular connection with, of the volcanoes uh, to the ice, to the plankton, uh, to the oxygen, uh, wasn't something we expected to find, but there it was. Mix says their findings deep underwater don't come with a doomsday forecast for a rash of eruptions anytime soon. I think the point is more learning from the past to figure out how to better live with the earth. It's also true that we are perturbing the earth. Uh, we are causing climate change and um, that's going to do some strange things. Tim Gordon, KGW News.